morning, staff and students. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, February 19th. I'm Jody Posta. And I'm Art Sharani. Thanks for joining us. Believe it or not, we have no birthdays to celebrate today, but we do have some important information to share. The first two things are for juniors. Mr. Penfilon would like to announce that the permission settings of the career form have been fixed. Please log in to your email from your Chromebook and complete the junior career form. Also, any juniors enrolled in College Comp that usually report to school late on Tuesday and Thursday need to be here at 7.30 tomorrow for a meeting to get some important information regarding next school year. The next two announcements are for seniors. Reminder that the community service hours requires to graduate are due March 20th. Please submit your community service vouchers to Ms. Bohr in the attendance office. Senior pictures for the yearbook are due March 12th. Submit them to Ms. Pels via email or bring them in in a hard copy. And if you'd like to try and take advantage of the free senior portrait sessions being offered right here at PCHS on March 3rd, please see Ms. Pels to sign up for a slot that's convenient for you. It's time now for another clue for this week's Mystery Music Artist. This artist's mother was actually in jail during her pregnancy. Stay tuned tomorrow for another clue. Seniors who requested the Ottawa County Republican Women's Club Scholarship may pick, may pick it up from Mrs. Meek in the guidance office. Freshman mentoring for February will be held tomorrow during period 4. Mentoring should report to the cafeteria at the start of period 4. Attention Key Club members! Your next service project will be cleaning school buses to show appreciation to our bus drivers on National Bus Driver Appreciation Day. You will meet at the bus garage this Saturday morning at 8. Donuts will be provided. Don't miss it. Coach Weekman has a few reminders for any girls interested in playing softball this year. There will be no lifting this week and the last open net will be tonight from 6.30 to 8. Also, the first practice will be held on Monday, February 24th from 3.20 to 5.25 in the Bataan Gym. Practice schedules will be passed out at that time. Please come prepared for both inside and outside practice each day. The bowling teams competed in the District 2 sectional tournament this past weekend. The boys performed very well but fell short of qualifying for the district tournament by two pins. The Redskins were led by Dylan Smothers and he qualified for districts as an individual. He will bowl in Lima on Saturday afternoon. Good luck Dylan. On the girls side, they fought hard but finished in 11th place. Asha Schrader led the way with a three game series of 469 points, falling just short of qualifying for the district tournament by seven pins. Congratulations on all the bowlers on great seasons. Back to you. And lastly, Mr. Allister would like to let everyone know that the DECA Dock will be closed Thursday and Friday this week. Well, that wraps it up for Wednesday, February 19th. Have a great day.